Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one we are testing the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super in the Monster Hunter Wilds beta and here are all the specs of the GPU. We have the Zotac Ampholo model of the card. We are on the latest NVIDIA driver 566.03. We have resizable bar enabled inside BIOS as well. Over here in Task Manager we have the Intel Core i7-13700KF CPU. For memory we have 64GB of DDR5 CL36 6000MHz and finally for MSI afterburner no overclocks are applied. Everything is set to stock settings. So as looking at the system requirements of this game as you can see under recommended settings it says we need an RTX 2070 Super or 4060 or 6700 XT that is crazy high I would say and especially down here it says it runs at 1080p 60 FPS with frame generation enabled on top of that like that's crazy like the game is gonna look crap almost at 1080p with frame generation on top of that that too on medium graphic settings that that is not nice but anyways guys let's get inside the game and check out the fps we are inside the menu guys we're starting it off at 4k resolution this game doesn't support full screen mode unfortunately and we're gonna uncap the frame rate with vsync disable there are more settings over here we're gonna utilize the ultra graphic settings first with high resolution textures there's more settings on the next page down here and uh yeah, these are the settings. I'm turning off motion blur and as well as big knit effect. We don't really need those. And VRS is off. And uh, we have bloom over here, but I'll still leave it on. And the game does have a render scale slider as well, which we can utilize to check uh, or test higher resolutions if you like to. So I'm just starting this game off. Let's do this. And uh, let's go. What is this in a desert? Chapter one. Hold on. We gotta see that girl. I don't think I'm doing anything. We can actually do. 38 FPS. That is not nice. I mean, it's just desert right here. It shouldn't be that intensive, you know. And. Uh, Graphics looks decent. Nothing too special, honestly. Looks like I think I have seen work. better games than this, obviously, which perform a lot better than this one. And it gives more FPS as well. But keep in mind, this is beta. So, oh, this thing can fly as well. Whatever this is, dragon or I don't know, dinosaur. And there is some kind of uh, snake inside the sand She's in I know what to do. Crabs, Beamer, but what the hell? What, the, what did I just grab? Fire pot. And honestly I haven't played Monster Hunter ever. I don't know anything about this game. And uh, this thing looks quite good though. This uh, dragon. Or whatever bard this Let's is. Have. I'll cover you. What the hell? Why can't I move my camera? Throw grenades at this thing. Why can't I look forward? Take off monster. Have any more ammo? I guess. I don't have any more ammo. Maybe that thing gives us ammo, yes. I don't know what's going on right now. We are escaping some monsters, is it? There's a ship in the desert. On. Just uh, leave me alone, snake. Cutscenes do play at 60 FPS or higher frame rate at times. Not really, they are dropping 40. That's a giant sword. And uh, to be honest, I, I never played this game as I said before and <laughs> I don't really enjoy Monster Hunter 
and over here in this water area as you can see we are dropping frames a lot like 40 fps that's crazy and looking towards the sand we're getting 50 plus i mean sand shouldn't be that demanding in game right i don't know why it's so much demanding in this game but the gameplay is pretty smooth though even though we're getting like 40 ish frames it doesn't stutter whatsoever like that crazily which newer games do it doesn't do like that so. as you can see the frame time graph so most of the time it's pretty straight what is this licking monster that's a big tongue you know Whatever its name was, I, I couldn't pronounce that. Get away from me. How do I uh, aim at that thing? Why are you looking on the wrong side? Maybe I have to hold B? I really don't know how this works. Okay, I hit one arrow there, finally. Oh, we have to hold right click then use it okay i figured it out i guess what's this thing's health though i don't see any health finally guys i think it's about to die hopefully please die already it's been like 10 minutes i'm fighting this thing and uh this thing uh, doesn't even die Finally guys after like fighting this thing for like 10 to 15 minutes We have managed to finish it off Man, I'm not gonna play this game. All right guys up next. I'm gonna enable some uh, upscaling That is uh, where is this? Yeah DLSS as you can see has DLSS 3.5. I'm gonna use that and set it to quality settings uh, these are the settings as you can see maxed out pretty much are we using DLSS quality it doesn't seem like we are still gonna double check this just in case yeah we have DLSS quality enabled that's not where we need to go and we are in this um, kind of uh, what do you say village or settlement area right now and even with DLSS quality the game doesn't give us 60 plus FPS all the time as you can see I think I'm gonna stick to this place for the rest of the benchmark and uh, because it's not a game that I would like to play honestly and I'm really struggling a lot That's and, not where uh, we need to go why why won't you let me go why is this game so restrictive I don't like such games maybe write this now we, now we can go. But why is this thing going automatically? We're back in the desert now. Can you stop moving? Why is this thing moving on its own? I don't understand. Why is this thing automatic? Okay, so let's have a room around real quick. As you can see, we're sticking to... I forgot to turn on the counter there. So yeah, we're sticking around 60 FPS, not quite 60 FPS. But this is because we are in the open area right now. Perhaps that's why. Look at so many animals over here. Are they monsters? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, we got dinosaurs over here also. They aren't really attacking though. So I'm gonna try and keep this video very short, guys, because it's a beta. I don't want to be testing a bunch of settings for no reason. So on top of DLS quality on Ultra, I'm gonna enable DLSS frame generation as well. And uh, let's have a look if we can get 60 FPS with this. We should be. And yeah, we can get it now. And I don't like the fact that this thing is automatic, you know. And uh, she's also following us, that's nice. And now we're getting like 80 FPS. That's pretty cool, don't want to get inside there yet. I'll go outside. I think that's the best place to benchmark. 
don't wanna uh, meet any new monsters right now. It says hunt the alpha dosa. What is this? Dosa do Guma. Whatever its name is. The monsters looks pretty good though. I mean, uh, this game isn't the best looking game out there, obviously. And I have seen far better games with better performance, as I was saying. And we are only getting like 70 FPS with frame generation, not even touching 100. And this is on top of DLSS quality, keep that in mind. And VRAM, as you can see, is uh, close to 14 there. Might even touch 14 at some point. So that's the thing we have to uh, deal with. Yes, I have uh, no interest in doing so right now. We get some vegetation over here. Let's get off this thing. Get the trees. Hello, dinosaur. Looks like a dinosaur and a bull. Not a bull, but we call that. Call those animals with the bent, what bent horns. So up next at 1440p resolution, we are gonna use ultra settings and I'm using DLA, I'm not using DLSS upscaler, only the anti-aliasing and we are using the maximum settings which is ultra preset. Uh, let's have a look and the weather just changed in the game as you can see, there's lightning uh, going on, thunderstorms, the smokes and smoke effect or the clouds or whatever they are, they don't look too good I should say. But it does look cool though. Whatever is happening over there. In terms of visuals. It's a sandstorm right now and somehow we are maintaining the 60 FPS as you can see. Why is that uh, floating? I don't want to engage with that monster right now. We are getting that 60 FPS average right now at native 1440p resolution guys and we are not even using frame generation we're gonna try that as well and vram has now climbed over 14 that's kind of weird though in 4k it wasn't doing that maybe when this storm came it's taking up more vram hmm. that might be the case Overall, I think uh, you can play this game pretty well at 1440p resolution. Not so much in 4K natively, but you can do so with DLSS and frame generation turned on. I would recommend using those settings as uh, with frame gen there wasn't that much uh, of an input latency I could see. It was pretty smooth. So at 1440p, I'm going to quickly enable uh, frame generation on top of DLA. I really don't like this menu how they have everything set up using ultra settings with frame generation now we can get 100 plus fps right now and uh, this is buttery smooth right now sometimes there there are those uh, thick frame time graph here and there which i'm not a fan of but other than that what are these lions giant lions they definitely look like how do I ride my horse what is that a frog electric frog okay let's ride our horse real quick this thing just runs uh, on its own I hate that oh no they're after us oops this is not good leave me alone Please, no. Man, they look terrifying. I think we have to fight now. We can't fight on this thing. I guess we have to jump down from this. Oopsie, oopsie, there's two. That's the main problem. Yeah, they look terrifying. Racer, what's that? Right on that. There. Uh, 
glad it ran away at least so anyways guys that will be it for this video do leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always i'll see you in the next one till then take care and bye bye